<sighs> hey, mind um, rolling me that yoga ball? No, it's fine, you can stay. Oh, right, wow, okay, um, no, you're in the right place. I'm the yoga instructor. It's just nobody's ever signed up for this class before. It's not really on the website yet. I teach swimming and volleyball too. I practically live here, but yoga's been an option for like a year now and you are the first to actually come here. There's not a problem with that. The class is an option for a reason. Anyone is welcome. It's just we've been having a few issues with the website and it really hasn't gotten fixed yet. We start in like seven minutes. You have water? Great. Have you done yoga before? Perfect. Neither have I. <laughs> I'm joking. I really enjoy it. I usually spend this time doing the yoga just by myself. So, this class meets three times a week. You read up on everything, right? Cool. Join me in stretches. Mm. Reach up. And breathe out as you reach. And hold that. Since you're the only one here as of now, I'll give you my full attention. And we're gonna reach down with both arms down to the knees, down to the ankles. Don't worry if you can't make it all the way. It's just about warming up what you can. Mm, and come back up. Deep breath in and out. Now once more, reach back down, down to the ankles. If you can go further, do so, but don't strain your muscles too hard. It should be a good stretch. Down we go. And don't forget to breathe and come back up slowly. We're going to keep going back up all the way up to the ceiling. Breathe in through your stomach. Beautiful form. Let me see your stretches. Hold that. May I put my hand here? Alright, I'm going to help you stretch your upper body. Arms up. Keep both feet fully flat on the mat. Stretch out to your left. Good, good. Now slowly straighten up. And stretch out to your right. There. Can I see how far I can go this way again? Stretch out to your left and out to your right and stop when you feel a lot of resistance to the left. There. Okay. And one more to the right. Okay. You can stretch further to the right than you can to the left. No, that's not a bad thing. It's completely normal to have muscles that can stretch more than the others. It just depends what you stretch and how much you use them on a daily basis. All right, I'm gonna come back up. Match my stretches. Let's do the shoulders. Ah. <sighs> So, you come here often, right? Why haven't I seen you before? Oh, I just assumed. And we're gonna switch arms. So, it's your first time to the rec center entirely? What gym did you go to before? Wow, really? Then you worked out a lot at home, right? 
Now left elbow like this. Sorry, no, it's just you're in really good shape. And you can stretch really far, I'm very impressed. Switch to right elbow up. And you're gonna feel the stretch right along here. It's gonna be really exciting to work with you. I mean, I don't want you to think I'm not a qualified instructor. I have trained a lot, but it's just rare to see a beginner who can already do what you can. All right, and bring it down slowly. You always wanna come out of a stretch very gently. All right, now we're gonna stretch our hamstrings. Stand up straight and lean down. Let's do right first. Right leg out like this and lift your toes just a bit. Do you feel it? Lean a little bit more. There, and slowly come up. Okay, and we're gonna repeat on the other side. Do you feel it more? Ah, yeah, you are more flexible on your right side as all. Well. Sometimes it can be your dominant side, sometimes not. I'm right-handed, but my left side is actually a lot more flexible. All right, and we're gonna go up to the head, roll it out, slowly back, to the side, to the front, to the other side, and back again. <laughs> Does it feel good? Sometimes there's so much stress in our body that we keep it all pent up. And keep rolling your neck out to the side, to the front, to the side, and we're gonna switch. We're gonna go the opposite direction to the other side, to the front, to the other side, to the back. Yoga feels like a massage to me. When you're done, you feel so relaxed and at peace. You feel lighter and more awake. It's easier to do other workouts. Yoga is a great warm-up workout if you have the time for it. Mm -hmm, that's why I like my job. And now straighten your head back up. We're gonna roll our shoulders out. My job is all about feeling good. I get to work out and improve my health. And I get to help other people improve their health. It's nice, yeah? Mm-hmm. Swimming, though. Swimming is the cardio you want. If you ever want to join me, don't be shy. No, I don't teach it. Well, I do, just not for adults. I teach swimming and volleyball to children, beginner's classes, my yoga classes are for adults, but I've been trying to convince my boss to let me open a class for beginner swimmer adults. He says I've taken on too many classes already, but I love it, you know? Ooh, and your back should feel much more straight already. All right, 2 p.m. You ready to get started? We're gonna continue to stretch as we go. Okay, we're warmed up, we're stretched so far. Go ahead and sit on your mat, legs out straight in front of you, ankles together. This is a bit like the stretch we just did. Bend forward and reach for your feet. It's all right, you don't need to bend far. Trust me, you're doing much better than the usual beginner. I really can't believe this is your first Oh. <laughs> wow. Sorry, no, I'm not laughing at you. I'm not, really. <laughs> Sorry, this is unprofessional. But I just can't believe you haven't worked out in a while and your, your back is like this. It's like you're kinda, wow, you know? How do I say it politely? Um, hot. <laughs> Was that strange? 
I hope it's not bad to say during lessons. Here. I'm gonna push a little bit. It's okay, you'll feel it in your calves. Here we go. Hold it, hold it. Okay. You don't wanna push too hard, but a little is all right. You can do more when you're more flexible. It becomes easier. Wow, look at these muscles. Really, can I? I'm so sorry. Are you okay if I, if I see your biceps? Wow, and you swear you haven't worked out recently? Ah. Mm, can, can we do this one, this one pose? Okay, it's called, let me touch your arm. Wow, look at you. No, I won't get in trouble. It's fine. Nobody will know. Wow. You know, we should go out sometime or something. Just to uh, see where things go. <laughs> Sorry. You're way too hot. I can't focus. Let me try, though. Move onto your knees. This one feels so good for your back. Just like before, stretch up and reach for the ceiling. And down, out to the front of your mat. And then stretch back up to the ceiling. It does, doesn't it? It feels like you're working out your muscles because you are. You're working them in a way you aren't used to. So it's all right that you feel a burn. People don't realize how normal that is in yoga. It's not just about the stretches. It's a really great workout in itself. Now, the stretch you'll feel at your inner thigh, raise yourself up to a kneel and stretch out your right leg to your side. You should feel no stretch or pain yet. If you do, adjust yourself up until you don't. Now slowly lean down until you feel a slight, very slight stretch. And hold that. This one can be dangerous if you don't do it right, so we're just going to hold it like this. You always want to make sure you stretch your muscles and you don't push your bones or your tendons into places that they don't want to be in. We want to help our body, not hurt it. There, and keep holding it a little bit longer. You're going to have to use your muscles to stay balanced. That's okay. Our bodies are where we live. They're our home. Helping our bodies helps us. Now watch me. Bend your knee in as you bring your leg back in. There, just the way you put it out. Wow, you have amazing balance. And your left leg, same deal. Amazing balance there too. Oh, <laughs> I almost lost mine from watching you. And hold that pose. Never forget your breathing. Deep in and out. And bending your knee, bring it back in gently. Stretching new muscles will help you become more aware of your body. It helps you understand yourself. With yoga, you can perform better in other workouts or just in daily tasks. I'm going to help you with this next one because you won't be able to see me when you do it. So sit back on your knees and then bring your legs back out in front and lay on your back flat. So you're just gonna lay down like you would in a bed. Okay, may I put my hand under your back? Feel it here. I'm going to raise you up very gently, 
but only raise your back. Bring your hips in and your head in as your back raises and you're going to feel the pull in your stomach. It will be a very strange and new stretch if you haven't done this before. But don't worry, I've got you. Okay, and you're going to feel a stronger pull when you breathe in and out again. Put your weight on me, I can take it. Good. Now again, breathe in and out. Now don't try to sit up or lay down by yourself. I'm going to put you gently back down. There you are. You've never stretched these muscles before. It's like you're accessing a whole new way to train your body. Now lay down flat, stay. We're just going to focus on breathing for a moment. As you breathe in, it's almost like your whole torso should expand. You want to fill up your lungs completely. And as you breathe out, your body feels like it's moving down into your mat. Breathe in again. Make sure your air isn't only filling your chest, but all the way down to your belly. And out, and you should feel your belly move down. All right, go to try again. Breathe in and out. Good. Good. It's going to take a while to get used to that. You've got it. Next lesson, we're going to brush up on breathing again, just because it does throw some people off. You would be very surprised how many different ways there are to breathe. But for now, I'm going to have you stand up very slowly. You might feel a little dizzy. We're going to work on balance. I've already seen that you're going to be really good at this one. 